Increasingly isolated and lacking support, senior citizens are continuing to struggle during this pandemic. Programs that provide outreach to this vulnerable age group are finding demand for their services and a lot of success. Sarah Dollop has their story. As the pandemic rages on, so does isolation for many seniors. A recent study from Johns Hopkins finds double the number of older Americans say they're experiencing psychological distress compared to 2018. Part of that is loneliness and can affect physical and mental health. There's a real impact on cognitive health, thinking about memory loss, mental sharpness, ability to do advanced thinking, as well as depression and anxiety. The George Washington University School of Medicine and Health Sciences is working to combat that social isolation with a program that matches D.C. area seniors and volunteers, all medical students, via phone. Hey there, this is Monica. While they can connect callers with health services, the calls are meant to be conversational, not medical. I remember uh, talking to one senior who said that uh, something along the lines of it was too good to be true that the service exists. Special connections that have been so successful, the school plans to keep the program going post-pandemic. We need to build more bridges across generations, right? And this is an opportunity to build bridges and give people a local grandparent. In Boston, oh, I love it. outreach comes sealed and stamped. The Letters Against Isolation campaign, started by two sisters, has sent more than 18,000 pieces of mail. It's just so lovely to have this community during these lonely times. Lines of communication, helping older Americans combat social isolation and loneliness. Sarah Dolliff, Local 4. And if you're interested in volunteering or receiving services from one of those programs, visit eldercare.acl.gov 